What's up guys, Raj Juice Raccoon, and <clears throat> I'm gonna, I, I know, I haven't uploaded in a really long time. That's my apologies. Uh, school is very hard to do, especially during the holidays. All oh, Christmas and stuff, all oh, families are around. Uh, very hard to do, not the easiest thing in the world. And I've been trying to do this video since the beginning of December. I just never got time to do it, and I've been working in schoolwork. It's been very punishing for me. But it's being uploaded now, late December, right before Christmas. I hopefully Christmas Eve. So basically, this is a list of uh, five Christmas games you should play during the holidays. These are kind of out of order. We're not going in like oh best to greatest, but I am gonna try to label them as best as possible and see which ones are the best games out of them all, and uh, see uh, what we can draw from this. And also, the, you guys. Uh, this is a list for uh, games you want to play on Christmas Day, after December, or next year, because I'm uploading this very well. Sorry. I, I, I'm... For number five on the list, we have a horror game. So if any kids are watching this, make sure you're ready for this, because this is a horror game. It is the Planet of the Bloodthirsty Santa. Santa or Santa Claus? I don't know. But the game is very, very enjoyable. It, it hits you uh, with a very thick atmosphere. And the game is completely fun to play. Um, and it's very scary, to be honest. Like, you don't know what could be anywhere. You know, it's very creepy. That the, the music is perfectly timed. Uh, everything is perfect. It seems more like an indie game. But it's beautiful because it looks like a PS1 game. But it plays... So well, it, it, I mean, not that saying that PS1 games don't play well, but the game is so much fun to play. Not in fun of the amusing standpoint where it's like, oh, joyful and happy, but it's very well made. And you guys should definitely go check it out. I'll have it on Game Jolt. Uh, the game will be in the description below. You guys can go uh, get that game. I watched the uh, I watched Dashie's video on it, and he made a video on it. And I'll put that in the description too. And uh, if you guys like horror games, um, you should definitely go check this game out. It's definitely a fun game to play during the holidays. And um, a game you should probably just try out. It's a lot of fun, very scary. You guys are going to enjoy it. <laughs> On to my next pick. I'm going to put Die Hard Trilogy. You know why? Because Chris, Chris, Die Hard is a Christmas film. I don't care what anybody says. Can we just get this over with right now? Die Hard is a Christmas film through and through. Okay? There, I, there is no doubt in my mind that it is not a Christmas film. And why? It just because it's a Christmas film, why would it not? Why would the game not be, you know? And also, Dire Trilogy, the great thing about this game, you can play it through 1, 2, and 3. Now, I'm not saying that 3 is technically a Christmas movie. They kind of poke at it being Christmas time, but it doesn't look like it. And if I'm getting this wrong, please tell me in the comments, because I'm probably getting this all wrong. But, and I have watched all three of them, okay? 1 is great, okay? And that is definitely a Christmas film. 2 is also during Christmas, so it's also a Christmas film. 3, not so much, but... Why not? So this is Dire Trilogy. This is for the PS One. Uh, not now. It's now it's actually on the PS One. Not like Bloodthirsty Santa, where it seems like it's on the PS One. But um, this game is definitely fun to play, and you guys go check it out. If you can find an emulator, not that I'm supporting it. If you can find it on an actual copy, definitely a good game to add to your PlayStation collection. And next game. Next game. Um, now this game is also kind of like a game that. It's based off of a movie that people think is also a Christmas film. Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. Now, let me warn you, they're not the same games, just because they're on same, like different consoles around the same time, and most games are pretty much the same when they on the both systems, but this one is completely not. Super Nintendo is a beat-em-up. If you like beat-em-ups, this is one of the best beat-em-ups on the Super Nintendo, in my opinion. I've always been more of a Shoots of Rage guy compared to Final Fight, so this is my favorite fighting uh, beat-em-up game sorry, uh, on the Super Nintendo. Um, but the Genesis version is a platformer, and they're very different, but they both are based on a movie that is technically a Christmas movie. They're both fun to play. Um, I feel like the Super Nintendo one is better. It has more, uh, better graphics. Um, Sega Genesis is kind of dark, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. The Sega Genesis game is a perfectly fine game. You should definitely play during the holidays, and if you want to get away from all the, uh, other games that I've talked about, try something new. This is definitely a game you should play, and, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm not listing games that have updates for that are like Christmas, like uh, 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 Overwatch and Fortnite. They both have updates that make the game seem like it's Christmas time. Uh, you know, they might add snow or something like Fortnite. It has like half the map of snow. 
Uh, I'm, not I'm not putting them in because the game isn't a Christmas game. Those are actual like shooting games, but it's not really supposed to be a Christmas game. You guys get it? Okay, now. Let's go to the next part of the list. Then this is going to the top two. These are some of the greatest games you should play during the holidays. And this is a game that I've, that I've talked about in the last video. Days Before Christmas for the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. Now, you should go watch my video about it because I'll give you more in depth about this. But these are both uh, perfectly fine platformers. They're nothing, you know, completely special. But they are a Christmas platformer and it definitely should be on this list. Because it's definitely very hard to find Christmas games that are Christmas games. So... Yeah, this one Christmas is a definitely game you should check out for both Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. Uh, I'll give a tell you, you guys are gonna have to figure out which one is it better for, and that'll be in the uh, description down below of the video that I uploaded a little while back, two months. If you can find a cartridge of this game, you should definitely go add to your collection because it's a great game to add. Because it was only released in a few countries, I'm gonna get them all into the video down below. Now for the number one pick, forgot the name. And the final game that I'm going to put on this list is Christmas Nights Into Dreams. This is a Sega Saturn game that is very enjoyable and very fun to play during the holidays. Like all of these games are. It's a 3D platformer, technically, a little bit. This is a game for the Sega Saturn, and the Sega Saturn is not the greatest uh, game console ever made. But if you're going to get a Sega Saturn, I should definitely recommend this game. Do not get the other one I'm thinking of right now. This is but definitely get this game. It's a lot of fun to play. If you can find a copy of it, definitely go uh, get a great game to add to your Sega Saturn collection. Uh, most Sega Saturn games proves how mediocre the console is, but this game is actually stands out from the rest. Not only is it a Christmas game, but it's a good game too. And uh, definitely my number one pick for the best game you should play during the holidays. So that wraps up all the lists. Uh, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. Any games that you played that are Christmas games. Uh, be generous about it. Be like, oh, you forgot this game. I'm sorry. Sorry, do not put Elf Bowling or whatever it's called. Please don't put this. Terrible. But anyway, uh, have a good holiday, and I'll see you guys probably in a couple of months. Uh, I'll try to do my best to get there uh, sooner, but this, I hope this list can uh, give me something to work with throughout the holidays um, and maybe next year and years uh, on. So these are definitely games you should check out.